If you want your car to be as spacious as a Toyota Hiace but with the luxury of Toyota Alphard then this video is for you. Welcome back YouTube. Today we are back with an amazing car that is Toyota's milestone version when you talk about luxury passenger wagon and it's the all new Toyota Granvia. And the variant which we'd be reviewing today is the premium version with a price tag of $54,000. In an overwhelmed image conscious market like ours, positioning a van as a family vehicle is an unavoidable task. Honda with its Odyssey Kia with its Carnival and Mercedes-Benz with its V-Class have been trying their best to break free from the perception of being fleet limos but with limited success. I have driven all of these minivans or MPVs as they are called and can say that they are among some of the best family vehicles out there. However, none of them have managed to become a part of as many households as their utility and comfort would warrant. Now Toyota has made an even bigger gamble by bringing the Granvia which is of course based on the commercial highest van and positioning it as a luxury people mover ideally for limousine operators as well as large families. Do not let the structure which resembles a Toyota highest make you think that Granvia is some sort of unrefined agricultural van with a Spartan interior. On the contrary, this Toyota has one of the swankiest cabins in the people mover class. The premium variant that we are going to review today has three rows of captain's chair with the second and the third rows equipped with power reclining functions and power folding Ottoman footrests helping them transform into near flatbeds like the airline business class seats. Adding further to the ambience of luxury are the features such as adjustable interior illumination with different colors to choose from, wood grain trim and metallic finishing as well as the rear air conditioning that has nanotechnology to help remove bacteria and odor. It also provides an incredibly large amount of storage space with cubby holes and pockets all across the three rows. As for engine and performance, this particular trim has a 3.5 liter of V6 engine mated with 6 speed automatic transmission that produces 378 horsepower and 351 newton meters of torque, which is sufficient to haul the Granvia and its occupant comfortably. As for the dimensions, it is 5100 millimeters in length, 1970 millimeters in width, and 1,990 millimeters in height and has a ground clearance of 175 millimeters. And lastly, the curb weight is around 2,605 kgs. All right, folks, enough said. Let's go ahead and check the exterior and interior options. Up close, we have headlamps and daytime running lights with chrome fittings, which looks premium as expected of a luxury wagon. Below that, you get headlamp washer. Further down, you have the fog lights as one of the safety features, which is surrounded by chrome fittings, which continues till the other side. Now coming to the other side, you get the same options, washer, headlamp, and then coming to the center, you get a massive Alford style chrome front grille with front cameras and a Toyota logo. On the top, you get the automatic rain sensing wipers, Coming to the side, you get 17 inch alloy wheels. On the top, you get chrome side mirrors with turn indicators and blind spot assist. You get chrome handles with keyless entry feature. On the bottom, you get linear chrome stripe extended till the back. On the rear, same chrome handles with electronic door function, 17 inch rear alloy wheels. Now coming back to the rear end, you get a boxy look which is not so premium but uh, 
That is something which comes at the cost of interior space, which we'll check out soon. Closing up, you get the rear brake lights and over the glass you also get the rear wipers. The Toyota logo. You get huge rear LED light panel with chrome accents on the sides. Below that you have the premium badging. On the other side you get the Toyota Grand Via badging. And on coming down you get four rear parking sensors as a safety feature.